Hi, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Toby Ryan, and in this video, we'll be looking at how to turn off the hidden echo and reverb effects in GarageBand 2019. Let's roll. Here's the problem. You're recording audio or using a software instrument, and then you notice it sounds like there's an echo, 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 echo. or a reverb when there's not supposed to be. These built-in effects are useful when used creatively and deliberately, but quickly become frustrating when you do not intend to have it. Here's how to turn it off. Open GarageBand, select an empty project, and select a track type. Let's start with audio. Click Create, and then select the Smart Controls button. Now select the Track button and expand the plugins area. This is where the effects are. You'll see the Master Echo and Reverb effects turned on by default, but these are only a small part of the issue. Uncheck these, and then we'll dive even deeper into the Edit button. From here, uncheck everything inside this menu. Turn off Master Echo, Master Reverb, Ambience, and Small Hall. These last two options are actually what causes this effect. And that's it. You do have to uncheck these every single time you create a new track. But here's a bonus tip. Save yourself some time and create a custom preset with these settings. To do this, select the track you want, open the Library button, and click the Save button at the very bottom of the window. You can now find your preset in the user settings. Now we're finished. There are so many ways to improve your audio, and if there's something specific you'd like to see or learn, hit that like button and let me know down in the comments. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Have fun, and enjoy your sound.